This is my assistant, Masala. It's an honor to meet you. And your cameraman over there, Castor? Hello. And Pollux. Let's get locked in. You're all from the Capitol? Plutarch got you out? Don't expect much chit-chat from him. Capitol cut his tongue out years ago. And no, it wasn't any sort of rescue, if that's what you mean. We all fled on our own. For this. For you. How you doing, Mahershala? Good, Jamal. How you doing? Great film, man. And it's, it, you know, it, I hate to even bring this guy up in our interview, but mm. Young Thug said in an interview recently like that artists don't have anything to do with politics or social change. But I think this film kind of speaks to a lot of a lot of things that goes on politically and socially around the world. Mm. Do you think that art is best expressed when it when it does touch those type of feelings of politics or culture or whatever? Well, I think art always comes from a place, good art always comes from a place of need. Um, things that are most inspired come from a place of need. And, and in that way, I think that's how the books, the film, they draw from things that have, that have been happening in our world. The, 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 the shift in how people's lives are covered, or, the, or this, the covering of people's lives in general with, with the paparazzi and reality TV. The, um, Tyranny has always been present in the world in, in some shape or form, but it, but how that's covered, propaganda to to galvanize folks, and so I think the film and art um, definitely pulling from those things. I think that's why the films speak to people the way they do. Your job in a film as Boggs is is really to I mean protect the the district, but also like to to protect Katniss. Mm. And you know, so many times in history, we, we hear about these great leaders, mm. but you know, whether it's Secret Service or, or other people, there's always somebody that you know that's there to protect them. They they are special people, and that they're kind of the unsung heroes because they they tend to keep the person who everyone is kind of like it, therefore there to see. They keep that person safe. But um, but I, I appreciate that. Boggs is there to kind of shadow her. I don't think he, at first, I think it's a different, a difficult task for him because I think he'd rather be out in, in the field fighting. And then that's, that's essentially why he's here and present. He grew up in District 13, which was uh, the, the military district. And they're the, the, the headquarters of the revolution. And now he's kind of babysitting. But his attitude about that changes uh, throughout the piece because he realizes how important Katniss is and how she's able to speak to people and how people respond and how that just makes his job that much easier. And they're gonna, he believes they'll achieve what they wanna achieve because of her being the symbol of the revolution, the Mockingjay. Last question, you know, the, the movie, like I said, speaks to, to a lot of things that goes on in society and maybe to the extreme fears that we have on what could happen. Mm. You know, with what happened in Ferguson and other uprisings around the world that where we've seen uprisings being su suppressed, whether mm. peaceful or not, what do you think we can do to prevent the extreme for, from happening? You know, at, mm. at this point in society, like how, how do we turn that curve from it getting to like the capital? Hmm. I think we have to learn how to communicate better as families. I think we have to be able to come together better as communities outside of the forces that are in power. That if we if we if we organized and learn how to take care of our communities first and foremost. And like, you know, when when my father's generation, they were kind of parented by the community in a certain way. So it kind of kept things under control and you kind of knew what other people's kids, like I hear these stories, you know, you yeah. knew what other kids were doing or you might have been disciplined by someone else's parent who had your well-being in mind. So I think there's things that we can't control as communities, but I think if our communities were tighter, um, that we were more invested in our in our, in our our schools and um, I'm not saying that everyone isn't, but um, I, I just think that we have to come together on, on, the, on the base level uh, and therefore we can demand certain things if we're tight and organized as a community. But if we're kind of split up and fractioned, then it's very difficult to, to kind of raise the, it, it's very difficult to not be experiencing some of the things that we've been experiencing as a world community. 
glad to see your character introduced and can't wait to see it continue in my community. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, brother. Take care now.